Hey, Julie, how are you? Rob Sesternino, what's going on? Hi, thanks. It's good to see you. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to talk to you today, Julie, because I feel like I have so many questions for you, and I feel like that we heard so much about you, and I feel like that we didn't always get to hear from you about what's going on. Well, I, it's so funny. The first part of my game, was I even on the show? Like, mm -hmm. it was such a hard... Um, I, I appreciate, I mean, I think they did an amazing job and I love the editors and their job is so hard. And it was my game. Like, let's just stay under the radar. But yeah. like, staying under the radar sounds so passive and it's not. It's the hardest thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I, you know, I, I have some theories. I, I really, I think that, you know, everybody else is growing. And sometimes when you have somebody like you who arrives like fully formed, who's already had so much growth <laughs> that, you know, uh, maybe, uh, you know, it's not oh, so I much of a, of a transformation for you because I appreciate that. it was, I went into the game and my goal was um, to love my castmates. I'm like, I know how hard it was for me to get on this. These guys got to be amazing. So I was playing for like, for keeps. I was in it. And I, I'm like, tell me why you're here. What is it? And But I cared and I meant it. And I think they felt it because yeah. it was an amazing cast. It wasn't like you had to fake it. I was like, okay, you're amazing. Dang it. Okay, you're amazing. You're amazing. So I just put in. All right, but enough about them. Why well, I need to talk about you. Really? Because yes. they are amazing. Okay. Okay. Um, so here's my question. Okay. So, yeah. uh, you know, this season, it was such a, like a little bit of a paradigm shift because everybody kept telling us about how like, oh, you got to watch out for the mom. The moms always win. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the mom, if she gets to the end, watch out. I'm like, since when? But you changed the whole thing. How were you able to do this, Julie? Oh, boys, when let's change that. Um, I I hated it when I first said Mama J out of my mouth. I was yeah. like, oh, my sister calls me J, but J Maya was on the team and I was the mom. And like the minute it came out, I went, stupid, stupid. But then it was like a split decision own it just hundred own it or or stop it and I was like okay let's go and it was I mean it's such a part of who I am so I I did own yeah. that but um I, half the time I just thought I was one of the guys like I hated it when they were like oh the two old people y'all did so good in the competition and I'm like screw y'all <laughs> <laughs> what you could do it um so I I don't know I was lucky I Look at that team that I got on. Like the minute I look at my biggest fear was I was going to be the weak link and get voted out first. And then I look yeah. at everybody that's wearing red and I'm like, we're not going to try. Okay. <laughs> I mean, All right. So. Well, Julie, l let's talk about Austin's idol, your idol, I should say. I'm sorry. Uh, your idol. Uh, and what I, you know, I think you, you talk too loud and I think it's like, you, it's muting you. So like, sometimes I can see how you're talking very animated and I'm not hearing anything. I've got to take it down. I'll take it down. Okay. Like I got criticized for sharing that hammer. Do we remember D and I helping him and me bringing the hammer to him and him getting the idol and people like, this is your fiver. You should have kept it for yourself. And none. And I got right. so much criticism. And I'm like, okay, that's how you would have played. Let's see how far you get. Let's see how far people that just played for themselves get. That was not how I was playing the game. I was going to play a loyal game and let's go far. And I felt like this re before could go far. God, we did amazing. So then that's a shared idol. Austin says it's a shared idol. He's like, you ever need it? It's yours. He's got, so every night the re before would meet. No one else knew this. We meet at night on the beach. We talk about all the advantages, what we knew, who knew what. During the day we wouldn't talk to each other. So no one knew how tight the four of us were. I mean, you think a couple is dangerous? Like, we were like, this is amazing. Like, let's just do this. Yeah. So honest to goodness, when I think I'm in danger, Austin's like, yeah, I'll get to you. And I just remember sitting on the bamboo and Drew handed me the backpack. He gives me a nod. I look over at Austin, Austin gives me a nod. So Drew was in on giving me that item. So then when I find out they're gonna vote me out with an idol in my pocket, I'm thinking, when did Drew turn? 
when did Drew turn on me? Because I knew, like y'all saw the emotional time between me and Drew. I put it together hours later. My thought processing took longer with no food and no sleep. And it finally hit me. Oh, he's telling me he's coming for me. That's what that emotional moment was. Stupid. But then when I know they're going to vote me out, I'm like, when did that happen? Like I couldn't, it's all a blur. So I'm thinking they gave me a fake idol. So the whole day when D's like, play it, I'm like, D, it might not be real. When did they turn? She was like, oh. And I still remember, I thought I might go home that night. And I had this beautiful scarf that I use as a blanket every night. So I folded it up and I slid it to D thinking that I might go home that night. And she starts crying because she's like, oh, what if her idol isn't? So she starts crying. I think Austin sees her crying, but he thinks she's crying because I'm going home. It all worked out very nice for us. So, and then I play it and it turns out it's real idol. But um, was it like to be called an idol stealer, which, you know, that's impossible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, you got to give it to him. But who, um, who called you an idol stealer? The players or the people no, on online? People online. Okay. They, well, like, they, they don't, they don't know. Don't they worry don't know about the that. game. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, okay, that's hilarious. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to own that. Because well, we're proud of you for doing that. I, I wish we would have seen more of that in the show. Yeah. Well, that's what I was like. I know my game of loyalty would be boring for the audience, but I didn't care. I knew how I was going to play and how to get to the end. So mm -hmm. that was selfish on my part is that I was like, man, a loyal game. And the four Reba going to the end, boring for everyone. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. care. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of good that Drew turned on me. Okay. Made it much that, more so at the final five, Julie, okay, you ultimately go out of the game. What could you have done differently? You're the, you, that, you're the only one that you vote correctly. Right? I did. I begged Katura. I begged D. Let's just vote for Jake. And they're like, he's got an idol. I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm like, I'm the one at risk. We all know my time's up. My back's been against the wall. I'm like, just to, let's just do it anyway. And I'm like, that would have been amazing if they had done it anyway. Mm -hmm. um, it's all hindsight. Of course, Jake would want to make a big move. Of course, he's not going to play it for himself. Um, I just, in my gut, was like, I don't care. I'm going home. Let's make a statement. And Jake and I at Merge after he voted for me, you know, yep. went after me, I said, he was like, we're going to work together. And I said, okay, Jake, every time I write a name, I'll do a squiggly line underneath it so that you'll know that was my vote. And um, so to write Jake's name and do a squiggly line, <laughs> was just so fun. Yeah. Um, but I still didn't know how that vote went. Like when yeah. I got to Pondy, I was like, I guess it was Jake and Austin. Like to know that it was Keturah, was shocking. That was the only one that I didn't know how the votes were going to go. Isn't that the way, though? That's when you go out, when you don't know. Yeah. Do you feel like, was there something that you could have done differently that gets you to the final three? I can't, I can't, I, I got no regrets. I mm -hmm. feel like it was a coin toss. I mean, it really came down to Keturah. If she had stuck with it, she would have gone, I would have stayed. And that was out of my control. Yeah. If that I, happens, you get to the final four. Do you get to the end? Um, There's a better shot that I do. Yeah. I mean, I got to win the immunity. I feel like I'd be sent to fire. Like if yes. someone else did. Um, Rob, I'm not bad at fire. Yeah. Could you beat Austin? Katora said she thought that it would have been you, uh, Austin, take you to fire. Um, oof. Probably couldn't have beaten Austin. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I could have. So then to go out on fire, oh, that'd be tough. So I would have had to win. Um, I would have had to win that immunity. Yeah. And then if I won, then it's up to me to do. So it's tough. Yeah. What was the reaction from it's the family tough. watching you play this season, Julie? So much fun. So much fun. It's been amazing. And I, when I got home, like from Fiji, I told my kids, I said, I'm going to apologize to you because you're going to get asked by a lot of people. Are you proud of your mom? <laughs> mm -hmm. Because all I said, the whole, and my kids, of course, are proud of me, but it's such an emotional time out there. And that was my trick. You know, I was yeah. like, I just hope my kids are proud of me. And so, which I 
felt and did, but to say it so many times, my kids are like, yes, we're proud of our mom, mm-hmm. <laughs> which I knew, but it's still, it's fun. So but did you have a real secret to your success? Cause I mean, look at you and look at Bruce with all due respect to Bruce, you know, you were there with like all these younger people and you were able to have such great relationships uh, with them. And uh, you were such a, like a, a person that they, they all wanted to keep around until you were too much of a threat. Right. Um, I think you just bring your life into the game. And I am surrounded by 20 somethings in my life. I got two kids that are, but I've got um, two nieces, a nephew, and then I've got cousin, like my life is 20 somethings. So I think like, I just felt like they were my people out there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I, I just let them know each person. I was like, you want me here. I will get you farther. And they believe that because I yeah. meant it. Yeah. Uh, Julie, anything, I don't else know. You, anything else you want people to know about your game this season? Um, So much. I didn't get, my game didn't get shown, Um, which is fine. Uh, But it was just building the, I loved my Reba 4 Alliance. I feel like that was amazing and so much fun. Um, but I also had the geriatric alliance with Sifu. Um, I, uh, oh, how old is Sifu? Like 35. <laughs> <laughs> Came up with the name and make, but like all the negatives, which are so hard out there. I could not sleep. I, I am because I'm older. I'm not like one of those kids that can just be like, ah, I can crash anywhere. I'm like, are y'all not listening to Sifu snore? Do y'all yeah. not hear this? And, but that turned to my advantage. Then when Sifu would start snoring, that's when I knew he was out and I could wake up the others and we'd meet. Um, and, and my nighttime with Sifu, like all of my gameplay was like the cover of darkness. And I'm like, but not sleeping turned out to be a good thing. And we just, and it made this added layer of, yeah, we're doing this thing. It's like a game within a game. We're all sharing this information. And then during the day, we didn't talk to each other. Um, and so it was like, just so much fun. So I hate that that didn't get shown. Um, but I understand it because like no one even there knew how tight the four of us were. Um, and it was just, that was part of it. I was very lucky to be on that. Um, and I loved each of these players. I just yeah. think it was an amazing cast. I get that. I get that. All right. Well, Julie, thank you so much for making some time. Uh, you were very fun to watch and thank I you. hope it was a great experience for you. It was tough, and, yeah. but it was good. Yeah. Hope to chat more in the future. Okay. Absolutely. There's All so right. much to talk about. Let's do I, get, I get that. I get that. All right, Julie, take <laughs> thank care. Thank you. Thank Bye. you.